oysters think it's so bad lately. Um, just wanted to make a video. Just to let you know what, what's going through my mind at the moment. Um, it's written in the Bible to meditate on the words. In today's society, there's a lot of that word used in different places. But what they're speaking of is um, clearing their mind and being open to outside forces and talking to spirits and strange things. Nothing to do with the meditation that's spoken of from the Bible. And that meditation is speaking of thinking on something intensely. It's so you can come to a point of understanding. It's why you find some things that are hard to grasp. Um, in different, um, said in different ways. And um, it's so that if you meditate on the whole lot, as a whole, you should come to the answer. Well, that's what I've been doing. Question asked a while, a while back, still being asked, and that was, um, why, why, why now? Why is the flat Earth coming to light, and why is it easier to see? Um, why was the door sort of open for a flood of people, and then all of a sudden it? sort of slowed down abruptly. It, um, yeah, lost its momentum. People aren't too sure on why this happened. I've heard a few different explanations, but nothing that suffices. Well, I've been thinking about it. what happened, the reason all of a sudden it could be seen, maybe that person died, and then, we, then they started to do things to try and, uh, you know, control it again, because with the Paris attacks, and if you're not aware, you might want to look it up. But Paris is in you know, France and Paris, all that, all, all over that Europe. They're in a really bad way. There's people 
on the streets by numbers, I don't know, but it's amazing. And if you watch the footage, the police are running around like thugs, just like throwing smoke bombs at them and tear gas and stuff, like being sneaky sort of, but not really. Um, and the people on the other side of the road just walk in. No one's really doing anything, but the police start provoking it and they get the agitation up to the point where it, you know, they justify, you know, yeah. Well, you need to watch it, you see. Um, for one, that might be because um, just of the knowledge getting out of Paris, because um, of the fact that they are like that, revolutionary. They will jump up and bond together and speak out. So the places on Marsh with all lockdown and all that, it's hard to get information out. I mean, it's, um, they did the summit stuff there and drew attention away the whole time. They don't want anyone to know what's really going on over there. And at the same time, not much information would really be getting in or out, or not much um, attention would be being made towards the flat earth uh, movement. But at the same time, the fact that the psyops and false flags and whatnot, and these um, lying politicians and whatnot, and um, the laws and all these things that are happening. Um, you've got, what's his name? Trump in there. So there's imagery coming from there. There's him throwing out truth so people are putting their attention there and they're hearing what they're supposed to, obviously. So maybe that's the reason Maybe it's been rebound by somebody. And maybe the reason it was able to be seen in the first place so easy and all of a sudden, and by many, was because all of a sudden it was lifted. The binding was taken away. Because if it's for a person, then Remember they said, it says in the writings of uh, Giordano Bruno, it says that they can bind, they bind from a distance and they bind many people. So that person died, the connection failed, stopped. And therefore, all of a sudden, people could see. But that's people, would have only been people looking, and it, but it would have been available, basically, to everybody. But... You basically would have been, would have had to have to have been in a position, put yourself in a position to have seen something flat earth or related. Something that they use against us to keep us in that state with the imagery and, and messages and words and all that. Um, you would have had to see one of something like that and gone, oh, well, that's, that's a lie. And recognise it for what it is, um, but you you would have had to be in that position if you were never in that position. And the whole time the veil was lifted and the opportunity was there, then you wouldn't have looked, or you wouldn't have seen, because you're not looking, you're not out looking for it. So you wouldn't see it, you wouldn't look for it. But if just, just by chance you were, or faith, or grace, or whatever, you just so happen to be doing that, like many were, and you saw it, and they can't put the lid on you. But they could, that's only with reference to being awake. So far, and, and, um, to a certain distance, well, looks at it. Um, a lot of people are being bound in other ways with the new stuff and therefore it obviously 
they've reconnected it to, um, or they would, sorry, they would obviously reconnect it to the previous binding so that you would, um, all those other lies that you didn't expose to yourself or expose yourself to are a little bit harder to see or you still pertain. So, yeah. That may be what's going on. So, how do we find this out? We look to see who died. Who died around the beginning of 2015? Because that's around, I'd say that's around the time it happened. It looks like it. And it was lifted. And it was just a matter of looking then. Until they got the next person in and gave them the binding power. If you know what I mean. Through whatever. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they did it. And it probably is not true. They use signals and stuff. We know that through the flicker rate and whatnot, that, that deception and that manipulation. But there are a lot of instruments out there that people know about, but they don't know what they really do. Um, yeah, and we don't know if that's because they work on vibration, these things. We don't know if they're to put a veil out there. A message, a signal, just like the flicker eight, but on a massive scale. And like I said before, they have the ability with CERN and hard. It's not hard. But anyway, that could be another thing. Didn't they switch up off or something? Maybe they did. And they switched it back on, realising, oh, hang on. Look, everyone's waking up. You better turn it back on. So, there are answers. And this finding stuff is real. It's, I, the way I look at it, the Bible says that um, Jesus will start ruling. And the, sign will be, the signs will be wars in all over the place, you know, nation rising against nation. And that the beast, because um, it says that the beast will fall into the abyss, um, and it will be non-active. And that, that was the United Nations. And we know that. I'll go and show you in a minute. Um, <clears throat> and then it says that they will rise out of the abyss. Yeah? And these will be the signs. Will the United Nations come back to life after World War I? Calling themselves United Nations before they were League of Nations. Um, and at that time, well, wars and world wars and Things have got really, really bad and all that sort of stuff. But if you notice, a lot of books that were being written by people explaining these magics and all this sort of thing properly, not in today's um, society, society style, you know, <laughs> um, but in the original ways, then those people were... Um, They were speaking honestly, yeah? So you will notice that those books go up to like 1913 and then they sort of stop. And after World War I, things changed, powers changed. People took people from other countries and, and joined power sort of thing. Um, a lot of things happened, and we've had a few, or oh, lots of wars. It's basically been endless since then. But one thing is, 
Another, another thing that will happen when Jesus starts pulling is he'll kick Satan out of heaven down to earth. So it also says he'll be running around looking for someone, anyone to devour. To, you know, and devouring, the only way he can devour them is to get into it against God and get God to do it. That's the way it works. Okay? So he's running around looking for ways. So he's perfected this. He perfected over that time. Over the time from when he got us the first sin up until 1914. And then when he was banished here, he put it all into perfection. And just, mate, turned it up. Big time. And that's why it's like it is. A lot of people say, oh, well, why does God let bad things happen? Well, for starters, this is for me, from me, my mouth. Why, do, why does anyone let bad things happen? Do you see people running around, stopping bad things from happening? It's one thing to sit there and say, why does God, why do you, why, why, do, why do you let bad things happen? Why are you up there every day fighting for people who are having bad things, unjust things happen to them? Well, it's the same thing. So you shouldn't ask that question if you don't really want to look for the answer. And the answer is, because Satan has challenged God. And if God was to step in and stop him, and not give him a period of time to try and show his, you know, if he can do it his way or not, if his way, you know, if, because, oh, a lot of angels have fallen and followed Satan. So therefore, they're saying that they think Satan is right, basically. So if God was to step in and stop, stop it from happening, um, then how just would that be? The way, the, the best way to do it, and the most loving and righteous way really to do it, is to let it run its course so it can, um, you know, show it for itself not to be worthy. That's the way. And tell me, is this system, is this world worthy? No, because everyone complains about how bad it is. And a lot of people point fingers at God. And they'll say silly things like, God works in mysterious ways to answer their questions. And that's, that makes people feel horrible. You know, that doesn't answer their question. And it's wrong anyway. God does not work in mysterious ways. Satan works in mysterious ways. God is, tells us everything he's going to do he tells us everything he wants us to do, and he explains what's going on. No mystery. Okay? He's not keeping anything secret from us. Only the day and the hour. Okay? So come on. Don't point the finger at him for things he's not doing. And you've got to understand, it's just like a teacher in a classroom. If a teacher was teaching, and a child pulled up and said, that's wrong. You're not doing it, you're doing it wrong. Well, the teacher said, shut up, or get out, or whatever. The other students would be like, oh, well, what makes you right? Just because you say so, you know? And that's fair enough. That's a fair enough question to ask. But if the teacher turns around and says, okay, here you go, show us. And if the teacher's um, in a position to be able to, to answer, and have the authority to be teaching, then he'll be right anyway in this street to show that he's wrong. So yeah, that proves it. And it explains why. So it is a just way of doing it. It's not an unjust way. That's the wrong way to look at it. If you look at it the other way around, and he steps in and says, right, that's enough then, yeah, that's taking free will away instantly, everyone, and not doing it in a just way. Sorry, but it's not. Is it? Hang on. Um, we just got the doctor coming for us both. Um, anyway. Um, where was I? Yeah. We can't, we can't point the finger. Basically, and we should. We can judge, we can ask questions, we can, but we could not just ask questions and judge. Because then that's just condemning. 
basically. Ask questions and think about what you're asking. Think about um, God's real stance. Think about what's really going on. The big picture. And stop putting your own thoughts into it. That's the problem. And watch out for um, stuff like uh, yoga clubs and things like this. Because um, they encourage you to invite things that you, know, you should not. And they cannot act upon you unless you invite them. Sorry, that's my hair. Yeah, unless you invite them. Because they can't take your free will away without you handing it over to them. That's why they, that's why stars and, um, what's it called, Hollywood people, and music people and all that. That's why they sign their souls away in blood to safety. That's why they do it. Because... He needs permission, okay? And then, let's say, he, then he can work on everyone else. Sorry. He can work on other people. The people that idolise that person. People that um, listen to that person and even just associate with that person, listen to their music, watch their stuff, that's association. So you just have to be careful. And yeah, meditate, but remember what meditate is. And then someone else just hit me. Concern this man you're looking at here, talking about so. Um, they turned it on. Turn it back on. Not so sorry. Ha. I turned it back on um eleventh of August last year. <laughs> uh, that's for me pretty full because I think it was about the twenty first. It was the day I've documented is when I first saw my flat earth proof, my first flat earth evidence. That made me start digging. Um, so yeah, he is just doing it again. So yeah, it's just more for you. Maybe this is why they've turned it on. And it was, I don't know, they were using some sort of frequency that screwed up the um, imagery and the mindset. Maybe that's why it took off. I'm pretty sure it's more around that time of year when it takes the big surge. And you might want to look into it. But um, there are some reasons why. I haven't heard any answers. Okay, this is the only ones I can think of, but...
could be doing the same thing. We don't know. What we do know is the knowledge that came forth came like someone clicking a switch. things moving quite fast, information, but that's because people were passing it on. This was from people looking into it. People have been looking into it, like, have looked into it for a while, but not seen. So why now do they? And why did we all of a sudden create the ability to be able to see it for what it was on a mass scale? rather than a few individuals like I was before that. Because there were still people looking into it, just not seeing it. So yeah, it could have something to do with this. The fact that uh, I changed hands, and maybe they had it set on a frequency that, yeah, gave everyone that opportunity and moment for, I don't know, six months, whatever it was. And they realise I'm all screwing around with it again. Who knows? One thing's for true, for sure. It was like a switch. Like I said, it's like a switch. Okay. It's something for you guys to think about. Hopefully you will be getting somewhere soon. And people can stop going around in circles. And maybe you need to go and find out what frequency or See if we can find out what frequency that was. And find some way of admitting it. Just walk around with it and <laughs> start talking flat out to people <laughs> with the device on us. <laughs> Snap them out of it so they can take the information and in it. actually hear it for what it is. <laughs> anyway, there should be some engineers out, engineers out there that might be able to help with that, but yeah. <laughs> Interesting idea. Okay, everyone. Much love and see you next time. Bye.